we're here for a reason. Hey, thanks for joining me. Today in this video, we're going to talk about five different ways to improve your relationship. Check it out. That's number five, talking. Yes, one of the most efficient and cost-effective way to communicate and improve your relationship with your partner is to talk. I know, I know, it's crazy. It really is a cost-friendly way to make a relationship gains, like taking this seriously. Talking is difficult. A good conversation is held between two people, a meaningful conversation. It requires both of them to be involved genuinely in the exchange <laughs> of words. And they have to be vulnerable. And that's hard to do. So that's number five, to get that deep connection Me, 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 me. From the rookery. Number four. What is number four? Oh, yes. Doing stuff together. Yeah. You, uh, you're in this relationship and you have to do things together. I think you need to find hobbies that you both enjoy or at least both can tolerate to a moderate amount. <laughs> I think this time the mundane and the, and the grocery shopping and the dishes and the laundry, that time together, I do, so I still value that time. And I think that time is important for the, the two in the relationship to have, but it, it is also important to challenge yourself as a couple and do new things and do stuff. And key point being having fun doing it together. So that's number four, doing things together. Number three, <laughs> number three, find your routines. Some people hate routines. There's something comforting in a routine. Identifying your ebb and flow in a relationship is really cool. Everyone's style and grace as a communicator is different. And you have to experience the time with that person to understand what they're like and what communication is to them. Find your routines. Okay, number two. This is one of my most favorite. Oh, of course, self-love and daily affirmations. I think if you haven't really heard of self-care or self-love, you really need to stop watching this show and go do some actual research and learn what those two things are because it's they're very i feel like they're educate yourself this is a very important step how can you commit to love somebody else and care for somebody else entirely if you can't understand yourself and love yourself for all your faults and all your failures Selena and Ashley and I like to do our self-affirmations and it's very nice. She sits and she meditates. She closes her, she closes her eyes and we say things like, I am beautiful and I'm smart. Today, I'm here to tell you, whoever's watching, you are enough. You are smart you are enough that really struck me today uh think media had a podcast that really kind of opened some doors for me you are enough you are smart you say these things to yourself every day now i also have a couple more that I do re regularly with and the first one is uh, every day forever and ever I am getting better and better every day forever and ever I am getting better and better and then <clears throat> negative thoughts have absolutely 
no effect on me. Negative thoughts have absolutely no effect on me. I love doing those every day or as, as often as you could remember. Um, it's, it's okay if you forget, but it's always, you stop, whenever you stop doing them, you really notice that the effect that it has on yourself. So it's definitely good to do. And it, it improves you, the way you perceive yourself. So it's something you definitely should check out. And number one, relationship quizzes and personality tests. Imagine that you're on your first date with a person and in that date you catch a glimpse of the entirety of the inside of that person's soul. Your, their values, their beliefs, their family systems and what makes <laughs> what what their pet peeves are. And this is relevant to me because this is how my relationship started. So not only do I have this infinite window into her soul, it also was used as a, a wheel that progressed our relationship further and deeper than it started because those were tools and activities that we did together and actually enjoyed. We had fun doing it. Number five, talking. Number four, doing things together. Uh, number three, finding your routines, even if they don't have any. That's the tough one. Uh, number two, self-love and daily affirmations. And number one, relationship quizzes and personality tests. Personality tests. Number five, talking. Number four, doing things together. Uh, number three, finding your routines, even if they don't have any. And number one, uh, personality tests and relationship quizzes. It starts the relationship with an open frame of mind and it continues to broaden the sense of that relationship as you progress. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, I... Okay, yeah, follow the script, douchebag. Uh, so where'd you go? Oh, it's on the bottom. My notes. Ashley and I do these quite often and I practice these five things regularly. They've really helped me progress what I myself at, on an individual level as a communicator. I'm just rambling. Ram, 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 ram. Ashley and I, we practice things, these five things pretty regularly. I think they really have helped us, helped me become a better communicator and strengthen our relationship. We started with this huge window of opportunity where we see each other as we are in that moment. And then we've made it to a point where we're coming up on a decades amount, a decade of marriage. Uh, it's she quoted us at a year so the point is not only did these personality tests give us a great starting point it strengthened our relationship so much it gives us something fun to do and then you you have like i said before you have to find something that you can enjoy together and th that's our thing and i love it i think they have a significant impact in regards to the strength of our relationship people get lost People get confused. People do things that they don't normally do. I want you to go down to your local Barnes & Noble, go scoop up several, there's hundreds of personality tests, IQ tests, uh, any sort of uh, relationship quizzes, or there's very specific section. There's lots of good stuff there to help you and your spouse, you know, get along, have a better healthier relationship and improve your communication and then you you'll get that and then you it also will carry over into your personal and friendships so thanks for watching i hope you had a good time if you like this video check out a few moments later <clears throat> oh yeah
what should they watch? Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, check out any episode with now. If you enjoyed any of this, it would be so cool if you could leave a comment down. Uh, eventually, I should have everything <laughs> uploaded to the Spotify. If you don't like YouTube, it'll be on Spotify. If you really like this show, go to the Patreon and get one of them their tiered memberships. I got special stuff coming like limited edition, I don't even want to call them NFTs, but there's going to be a bunch of cool stuff for subscribers to the Patreon, so go check that out and get acclimated because it's going to be popping off the chain. I already did this one. How can you commit to loving someone to the ends of the earth? If you're incapable of loving yourself, no. Okay, I got that one. You are enough. Okay. <clears throat> he had a receding hairline at age ten. Kool Aid or Capri Sun? Anyway, Kool Aid. Um, I grew up on Kool Aid. Experience. Grew up on Kool Aid. Yeah. But I picked Capri Sun because, again, like the Nickelodeon thing, is it was the coveted item. Kool-Aid isn't the same now. What do you mean it's not the same? It's no. powder. No, it's less sugar in it Pack now. It. But it, but Pack growing it. up, growing up, what I drank was Kool-Aid. What I wanted was Kool-Aid. Um, when it was made, it was two cups of sugar or something like that per mm-hmm. pitcher or whatever. One cup. Was it one cup? Yeah, oh, okay. two cups of sugar. That's a frick one ton. Cup. Frick ton. Well, of... no, we always made more than one packet at a time. Oh, so okay. that's probably why. Yeah, yeah. But Kool-Aid was always the drink. On a hot day, perfect. Uh, Simpsons or Family Guy? Simpsons. Simpsons. Duh. Um, the Muppet Show or Fraggle Rock? I was really... Both. Could... That is, that's not even a question. Those are both Jim Henson. They, yeah, they, they yeah, shouldn't even Yeah, but you count. have to pick one. Pick one and... In... You have to pick the Muppet Show. Well, I don't have to. Well, I like... watched Fraggle Rock more growing up than the classic Muppet Show was in like the 60s, 70s. You know what I mean? That wasn't on when mm. I was a, a child. But in the 80s... You had your Fraggle Rock. And in the book, The Philosophy of Jim Henson, Fraggle Rock, and the reason he created Fraggle Rock and was so gung-ho and wanted to create it because he wanted to create a perfect world where everyone was accepted. And that, in Jim Henson's mind, came out to be Fraggle Rock. That Fraggle Rock. Mm-hmm. Yep. Coke or Pepsi? Cocaine. Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola? Oh, um, well, cocaine. I mean, Coke, when it would had cocaine, maybe I would have liked it. It still does. Okay, 7-Up, I put. L.A. Give, <laughs> just make up your own answers. <clears throat> I don't drink either. They make me vomit. L.A. Gears. Oh, I skipped school with Pepsi when I was in high school. What do you mean you skipped school with Pepsi? I would drink it the night before, and I'd be vomiting in the middle of the night. Oh, and my clever. mom would be like, okay, yeah, nice. you can stay home. Nice. L.A. Gears or Airwalks? I put Airwalks, but I prefer yeah. Converse. Well, but what are I LA did, Gears? I did own a pair of Airwalks at one time. It was totally Airwalks. That was like the most LA coveted Gear, shoe ever. I think ever. they were the ones that lit up. Aren't they the ones that the shoes that light up? Until Every la- brand later of shoes has made high tops. But like, yeah, those are like more expensive. The LA Gear didn't last as long, I don't think, as Airwalks. Airwalks is more of the skater shoe, I think. Yeah, well, most certainly, yeah. And Airwalks was, I believe it was the cheaper version of, like, the Vans at the time. That's probably the only that reason. That was the Vans of the time. Air, Air, Air Vans was still to, around then. Airwalks had to come before. No, look it up. I, I want to say Airwalks, the ch- Vans has been around. Well, it's like Converse has. Okay, 1986 on Airwalks. Okay. Uh, oh, shit, and 66 you. on Vans. Damn, Man, yes. they're old. Yes, they are. I had no idea. Yep, definitely. Brothers Paul and Van Doren and Van, Jim Van Doren, along with partners Gordon Lee and Sergey Delilah. Delia opened for business at 704 East Broadway in Anaheim, California, March 16th. They were, they were money right there. So what's what? Airwalks versus Vans. Type in. Airwalks were the one. If my mom bought them for me and what, I had a what, pair. Versus Vans. What are we? What are we? 
Like, Airwalks were the cheap version of Vans, I do Oh, believe. well... Like, they were all skater shoes type thing, but one was more for style. And Red, the other here's was... Reddit, old, old faithful Reddit. Okay. <laughs> Anyone remember wearing Airwalks instead of Vans? That, you know, yeah, there you you're go, right, right there. You're Thank right. you. Thank you. What's that guy's name? The author's name? Give him credit for that shit. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. That is... Let's see. <laughs> Cigar Dude. That's a uh, thank you, Cigar Dude, yes, for thank you. reaffirming and establishing that. Yeah, they were affordable. Were, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the vans, you know. The vans were expensive. Yeah. They are still expensive. Yes, they are. Unless you get them on sale, and then they're real shitty looking. Or you just get better shoes called Converse. Anyway, um, next last question Nintendo versus Xbox. I don't, I already know your answer. Mine was Nintendo, though. I figured it would be. Oh, my gosh, yeah, Super Mario Classic. I mean, this. Paperboy. Yeah, we just talked about Paperboy. Yeah, I know the, like, all the classics. All Xbox, but I've spent more hours on uh, the Xbox One, the green and black Xbox. You were also than older and I had more count. time when Young, it came out. Younger and had more time. No, you, you were older when the Xbox came out. So you, and you put more time into that versus when Nintendo first came yeah. out. But Nintendo led the way for real. They led the way for the Microsoft Xbox and the PlayStation. Atari did before that, but Nintendo versus Xbox, Nintendo's the winner. How many of these body oddities can you do? There you go. This one. Touch your tongue to your nose. Can you do it? Don't try it yet. I don't think you can. Go for it. No. I, I've done this before. I haven't tried it in a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I call that a touch. Yep. Ding. Touch your tongue to your chin. I cannot do this. I mean, that that's, doesn't that, count. That's the bottom of your lip. That doesn't no, count. Okay, Gene. Raise. <laughs> At least he's got one thing uh, going for him. It's not his attitude. Raise one eyebrow. I don't know. I've I've never really practiced this, and I'm not the you rock. Smell. Yeah, I didn't you need to pose in front of a mirror for a. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Next. Uh, lick your eyebrow. What the fuck? No, I can't do that. I can lick. Who your... can lick their Wait, eyebrow? I can lick your eyebrow. Yeah. It says lick your eyebrow. I'll lick your eyebrow. Uh, roll your tongue like a wave. Um, or does it mean like this? Uh, no, the the wave one. Can you tie a cherry stem into a knot with your tongue? I think I did once. It took me I've a while. I've never but I done did that, once. or I, I've it never takes a long that. time. I don't. I don't like. I bet cherries. you if you practice. I tried once or twice, but I never liked cherries. So, or no, I mean, it doesn't take too long. Uh. Curl the sides of your tongue up. Oh, yeah, that's what that's I said. That's that one. Okay. Wiggle your nose. Can't everybody do that? Or is that just wiggling? Oh, I guess oh, we're wiggling flaring, our mouth. Flaring your nostrils. Yeah, you're not, no, yours don't really flare too much. I feel them flaring. No. Bend your thumb to your forearm. Yeah, I've no, seen I can't. I'm do not that. doing that's this. Gross. I'm not even trying it. I break gross. too easily. I'm fracturing. I'm fractured. Put your whole fist in your mouth. Nope. I'm surprised you don't want to try. Just to say. I'll give you a different hole for your... Never mind. Go on. Uh, go cross-eyed? No. No, that's always bothered me. The thought... The watching other people do it and... Really? Me, I've uh, tried it once or twice Does it make and, you uncomfortable? No, I've heard it can... You can... You can My eyes are already Like, you fucked. can strain, like, um, uh, muscle in your eye. Okay, thanks. Like, pull it and... Like, Weird. Yeah. Wiggle your ears. All day, son. You're doing your eyebrow. Oh, your whole forehead's moving. Why is your head, like, throbbing? I guess they're moving, too, but your whole scalp's moving. They they don't, they can't wiggle, like, uh, like can, little flappers. Like Bagheera can move one of her ears randomly. All right, last one. Mm -hmm. Our sex life. Oh, okay. Uh, there was no more questions on the other one? No. Okay. Our sex life. Ooh. All pre-baby. So, like... Any, uh, like, our, be, our habits now I don't even remember that long ago. It's been four months. Oh, pre this baby. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Selena, too. No, and just I was like, recently. Wait a second. Because it's, it's, it's harder, a little bit, okay, little bit yeah. more difficult right now. How do you feel about the number of times we have sex each week? Too what? much, not enough, or just right? Why well, can't I answer for now? I don't think it's enough. Okay, well, you can answer for now. Just don't... It's not enough. Don't blame Sammy. 
Sammy Prince. I'm not blaming him. How do you feel about our level of role playing? Um, I. Why didn't you enter the first one? Uh, sorry. Um, I agree. Not enough. Okay. For pre or now? Both. We're 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 on the we're back on both. Forget I said it. I think we had a problem at one time that this happened. One time. One time. Oh, no. I remember more than once. Oh. That's it. That's the boy. <laughs> That's it right there. You you said that more than once. No. It was, no. Oh, yeah. No. I knew the time. Because we were clear. I was clear. Anyway. How do you fear? Uh, how do you feel about? Role playing. Yes. You said something about role playing. Uh, wait. How do I feel about it? Period. Or? what? Is um, our level of it. Um, at t when we talk about it and we actually have the time and the opportunity, you know, with this being now the fourth child and working and whatnot, um, I feel it, we could put a little more effort towards it, but I don't feel we need to like go set a goal and on our bucket list to make that the priority. I think just making more sex is. Making the six. Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel? How much laundry? Uh, how much lingerie you wear is worn? I, okay, now I don't want to talk about that at this situational. Okay. But before, um, I was trying to expand some. I'm gonna say just right because mm -hmm. I've always said that it's not about it. like yeah, it's nice, but it's not what it's. It's not what I'm came to the theater for. Well, I understand that, but sometimes you want to just feel good. How do you feel about the frequency of oral sex we have? Just right. I mean, I, there should be like, there's no like happy level. But yeah, no, just I, right. Just right, yeah. How's my level of general everyday? You know what? After the baby, I'd prefer more so that the baby doesn't happen again. Go How's on. my level of general everyday affection towards you? Not enough. Okay. Is that what you're going to say? I was actually going to say I'd prefer a little more, but I'm happy. Hmm. So just I mean, right. I want more sex, so I guess I want more affection. But as far as, like, kissing, hugging, All right, very, things be like very that, be, I'm okay with that. Be very careful how you answer this question. Which one? The one I just did? No. Oh. How do you feel about how often I give you massages? Right now? Well, the pregnancy, it makes Every, it uh, uncomfortable at times. Like, I can't lay the way well, I want to. No, how often I give them. I mean... Too much, not enough, just right. Current, Currently? Yeah, we're doing the whole thing. No, Everything's I'm current. I'm satisfied currently. Thank you, just right. Uh, how are we doing trying new things sexually in general? I'm satisfied with the trying of new things. Like I just said, I want sex more frequently. Yeah, like just but right doesn't seem yeah. like uh, like the satisfied. I'm satisfied yeah, with the amount. We'll say satisfied. Like, we don't go out, you know once a week to try something new. Hey, this time we're going to do it on the neighbor's porch at night. Woo! Yeah, you know. Is, <laughs> we're going to pretend we're... We, that's that's our it. house, you know. That's in Naples, oh, Florida. And, so we get role-playing you know? yeah. and more excitement. But, two birds with one stone. But yeah, no, no. The, the whole going out and trying new... I, I think we do. Yes, I think we yes, talk absolutely. about it and we do. So. Uh, how's our level with diff experimenting with different positions? As good as it's going to be. <laughs> Limited, we'll say. Can do what how we do you do. feel about how often you initiate sex? I don't feel comfortable to do it anymore, so I really can't say that I'm comfortable with it and think it's enough at all. But yeah, the way I, I feel, the not. size I feel, I, I don't feel attractive enough to... I don't know. I don't know. And I don't do it enough, as I should. I don't know. I just, with my whole self, uh, how physically. Do you, how do you feel about how often I initiate sex? Um, I think you did it more before I was this obese, so I'd prefer you go back to that level. Well, it's, we've got a lot of X factors now. Yeah, well, we just have a big lump in the middle. I mean, that doesn't mean. Teresa? No, not the mosquito. Uh, We're not on vacation anymore. One. No, she's... No. No, I meant this. I know you don't want me to be uncomfortable. When you, they say orgasms help you go into labor sooner and yes. make it easier 
birth. So, I mean, the sooner the better. We if should we can try get it, every day. If we can get it out before January, I mean, for tax reasons, that would be great. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. You hear that, buddy? Tax purposes. You listening? Yep. Hey, that was a lot of fun. Yep. Yep. Oh, you're so cute. Can we shave soon, too? Yep. Okay. You don't have to right now, but yeah.